Hello friends, in this session, we are going to learn how to create Google Kubernetes engine. Okay, so let's pass. So what is meant by Google Kubernetes engine? It means VKE. Okay, so it is offer open source and managed environment for deploying, managing and scaling containerized application using Google Cloud Platform. So how do ZK works, it works. Environment consists of nodes, which are compute engine virtual machines that are grouped together to form clusters. Okay, you package your application and also called workloads into container. So next, increase availability in ZK. How we can increase it? So let's see. Google Google Kubernetes engine offers two types of clusters. First one is regional and second one is zonal. Okay. So in this regional, uh, it is specified default node location means that it runs nodes of regional clusters across three zones within a region. All zones must be within the same region. Okay. So let's see, for example, uh, we select the Europe region. In this re Europe region, by default, three zones selected, uh, like zone A, uh, Europe zone not one, A, Europe zone not one, B, Europe zone not C, like that, okay? So second one, uh, zonal. In this zonal, zone cluster is only one zone will be selected. Increase availability by selecting more than one zone. Means we can uh, select only Europe zone one, then it's selecting one. Okay. So in this way. And if we select the Europe not one B, then only one zone is selected. It means that regional cluster offering increased availability than zonal cluster. Means this is the increased availability. Okay then zonal cluster can provide your cluster control plane api okay so let's see prerequisites so first first prerequisite you have account on google cloud platform and second one you have to create a new project okay so let's start how to create kubernetes cluster using gcp console okay means google cloud platform console so first step is we have to uh, click on this navigation menu. Let's see as a practical. So here I have account on the Google Cloud platform and from here I create a project, okay? Let's see. From here you can create a new project and fill the information and after that you can access to the new project okay so i have already created a project the option in that firstly we have to go navigation menu and in that navigation menu here google kubernetes engine present here and in that google kubernetes engine we'll go click on this It's not selected to Kubernetes engine. So again, I will select the Kubernetes engine. Okay, now it's selected. Then after that, from here or here, click on the create. Or simply you can search from here Google Kubernetes cluster. Okay, and search here. So this is this page is loading here. Okay. Now second step is we have to go to switch to standard cluster from here. Okay. This is a autopilot cluster. 
we don't have autopilot we have to standard cluster connect it and switch to standard cluster Okay, now we have to give here name as a my cluster and select the zone. I select the zone, zonal. Okay, it's a location type and zone I will select from here. Asia South A. Okay. Asia South One A. Okay. After that, all these control panel were then release panel. Keep at it as it is and click on this create. Okay. And now we have give like error sufficient regional quota to satisfy request source. That's why it's not create our cluster. So we have to go node pools. In that node pools, we have to go default pool and in this default, here pool name, node pool name is default pool and number of nodes are three. And we have to go inside the nodes. And in that nodes, here, would, would be size is 100. So we have give here less than 100, would be size. So here I will give 80. And now we will click on this create. So now it's creating. Kubernetes clusters. Okay. So it's time is take a lot of time. So I will pause for this video until this my cluster is created. Okay. So wait here. Okay. Now it's created my cluster okay so now we have to connect this cluster using this go to the dot means actions and in that action we can connect here okay so click on this connect after that connect firstly we have to copy this link okay because it's a configure kubectl command line access by running the following commands okay copy this and run in the cloud chain. Okay. So it's go to go to the cloud set. <coughs> it's connecting cloud set. Wait for the few minutes. Okay, now it's connect. And after that, enter. And I will paste it. This command which will be with where we copy. Okay. So enter and you have to get this popper. Cloud shell needs permission to use credential for Google G Cloud command. Okay. So firstly, we have to authorize it. And after that authorize, again, I will paste the command. And after that, we get the output like that. Fetching cluster endpoint and auth data. Means it's our, our own account, okay? Then quick config entry generate for the my cluster. Then now I have to connect the, let's wait. 
I have to connect the kubectl available in the load shell by default to checking the node using this kubectl get nodes. Okay, so use this kubectl get nodes. Enter and see here. This is the Okay, my cluster default pool like that. It's status is ready. After that, same here, status is ready. And it's age 32 minutes. Okay. So after the completion of my cluster. Okay. So in this way, we will learn how to create Kubernetes cluster. Okay. Kubernetes inject cluster. So thank you for the watching video.